guys, welcome back. Today's tutorial is a fall drugstore look, so let's get it started. I'm priming my face with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I absolutely love how it smooths out my imperfections and really keeps my T-zone matte. Now I'm applying the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 322. I really love the coverage and the natural matte finish that it provides. Okay, now I'm going to work on the brows. I'm filling them in with the Milani Stay Put Brow Product, which is a great affordable brow product. And then I'll clean them up a bit with some foundation. Moving on to the eye look. I started by priming my eyes with the NYX Eyeshadow Base and Skin Tone as usual. Now I'll be using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder, and this one is in N8 Cappuccino. This is a natural shade, and I'll be applying it to my crease with the fluffy blending brush, and this is just going to work as my transition shade. <sighs> now I'm going in with L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Eternal Sunshine, and it is gorgeous. And I'll just be packing this shadow all over the lid. Now going into the Maybelline The Blush Nudes palette and taking that cranberry shimmery shade, I'll just be packing it on to the outer V with my finger. And then I'll go in with a flat shader brush to just kind of carve it out a little bit. Okay, now I'll be going into the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2 and I'll be using the second to last shadow. It is a beautiful deep matte burgundy shade and I'll be carving out my crease a little bit. This is just going to help add some depth and dimension. And just a little side note, when you're working with deeper darker shadows such as this one, it's easier to just tap your brush into the shadow and use a light hand to buff it in. And if you need more, add more. And I'll be going back into that infallible shadow in Eternal Sunshine to just pack on a little bit more to the lid. And to highlight my brow bone, I'll be going back to the Blush Nudes palette and taking that creamy vanilla shade. It's a matte satin and it is so creamy. I love it. And just taking a fluffy blending brush and blending away any harsh lines. And for wing liner today, I'll be using the NYC Liquid Liner in Black. Oh, the winged liner. It really is a struggle. And no worries. If you mess up, just take a Q-tip and some makeup remover and just clean it up. Okay, and I'll be applying a little mascara to prep my lashes for falsies. And today I'll be using the NYX Wicked Lashes in 03 Tees. I absolutely love them. Alrighty, I'll be going back into the Blush Nudes palette and taking that same cranberry shade and just applying it to the lower lash line. And now going back into the Infallible Shadow and Eternal Sunshine and applying it to the inner corners. And moving on to concealer, I'll be using the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer in 50 Medium Deep. I kid you not, this concealer is so similar to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It is that good. Now it is a thicker consistency. It does feel a little tacky, so you definitely want to set it with a powder. And I'll be setting mine with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 330 Toffee. For bronzer today, I'll be going back into that L'Oreal True Match Pressed Powder in N8 Cappuccino. I absolutely love using this pressed powder as my contour shade. So keep that in mind. If you're having trouble finding that perfect contour shade for yourself, just look at some pressed powders, find your shade, and go two to three shades darker. Bingo. Now moving on to blush, and this is a fall must-have. This is the NYX Blush in Terracotta. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful bronzy. It looks very natural in a glowing way to really help bring some warmth to your face. And we can't forget about that highlight. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator in Golden. Oh my goodness. It's great. I know it has some hit and misses with other reviews out there, but I really like it. Little powdery, I ain't hating it. And it's time for lippies. This is the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Burgundy Blush. This is another fall must-have. You must get this lippy for fall. It is so gorgeous. It is that deep, vampy look. Love it. Okay, we can't forget about setting our makeup, and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. 
Alrighty, well here is the final look. Fall glam using all affordable makeup products.